demonstrates the whole concept of community to me, the way she worked. The development that was proposed up on the Gaviota Coast at El Capitan, that was pretty much a done deal. But Selma and a handful of other people said no. We don't care what the city says, we don't care what the state says, we are going to take this into our own hands. They galvanized a movement and they stopped that project and they inspired people in this community but really throughout the land that yes, a small group of very committed activists can make a difference. But you can't go anywhere with social justice issues in Santa Barbara without running into her name and what she's done. Selma, if you've known her a long time, is one of the most self-effacing people you'll ever meet. Selma has shown this remarkable maternal instinct for organizations, for civic undertakings for operational initiatives. The sense of community uh, in, in Santa Barbara and the number of environmental nonprofits and other civic nonprofits in Santa Barbara is astounding. There are few communities like this. And it's Selma and people like Selma that have made that happen here. And she's without a doubt, maybe two or three people of her ilk in the history of Santa Barbara. You know, there are so many solutions to protecting our community, our planet, but not one of them can work alone. It's really important that we all work together, whether we're focused on the air or the land or the wildlife or the water. It really takes everybody coming together with a common goal to make a difference. I don't think there's a way of doing anything until you have people that care, people that are interested, people that want a better place for their children and who are willing to put a little energy and time into doing that.